What's up, Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. So Windows 11 at the time of recording is of course not fully out, but this video can be made now and will be valid throughout Windows 11's lifetime, assuming nothing major changes. Odds are, if there's no update video in the description below, this video still works. So three videos and 5.5 million views later, this is still the most sought after video topic on every channel I've run and with very positive reviews, it works for most people. Do note that if this doesn't work for you, you may need to do a system restore and move back to a previous point, assuming those are turned on. But before drastic measures like that, let's start simple and non-destructively. That's what this video is for. This video is a general fix for Windows 11 not starting. For me, it's fixed frozen startup issues, boot loops, blank screens in startup, and more. This video is more than likely going to fix your issue. Do remember to pause the video and use closed captions if you have trouble keeping up. First of all, we need to get to the Windows Startup Repair screen. There's two basic ways of getting here. The first way is to simply tap F11 while starting up your computer and you should see a blue screen saying choose an option. However, the second option, if the first option doesn't work, is to simply interrupt your computer enough times so that it realizes something is wrong. During startup, while the icon is spinning, hold down the power button for roughly 5 seconds until the screen goes black, or pull out the power cable as well as the battery if there is one. You'll need to do this roughly twice, and upon the next boot, you'll see text under the loading icon saying preparing automatic repair. Simply wait for it to go through to completion, and then simply click advanced options. Now when asked to choose an option, click troubleshoot in the bottom left and then advanced options. If this issue started after installing software or changing settings, you can click startup settings and then restart. Once it restarts, you'll see a screen with a list of options. We're going to simply boot into safe mode, a more basic version of Windows with fewer features, allowing you to uninstall problem software or undo settings that broke your PC. Press either 4 for normal safe mode or press 5 for safe mode with networking allowing you to use the internet. When you're done uninstalling problem software or undoing settings changes, upon the next reboot, your computer will simply restart normally and let you use it as per normal, hopefully. If you're not sure what caused your issue or that simply didn't work, return to the troubleshooting screen where we were at earlier. Then click command prompt. Now you may be asked to enter a user account and password, and if so, do that. Now to begin, let's get to the right drive. Simply type C, colon, and then hit enter. Then type DIR and hit enter once again. We're looking for files that are usually on your C drive, including program files and windows. Because this window may label drives differently, you may need to use another letter. Type in disk part and hit enter. Then list volume and hit enter once again. From here, hit Ctrl and Z at the same time, and then enter once again to exit this menu, allowing us to type again. Now, assuming you remember the size of your hard disk with Windows on it, you should be able to easily find it here. It's usually the largest one, especially if you only have one drive. All you need to do is guess the correct letter on the left-hand side, and once again, enter a drive letter and a colon. So, if C drive wasn't the correct drive, you'd enter, say, D colon, and hit enter followed by DIR once again, and hopefully you'll see all the files you're looking for. For me, it was simply C colon DIR, and we're already on the correct drive. All you need to do is rinse and repeat with the different letters until you find the correct drive. Now, I simply cleared the screen with CLS, just to make things a bit more understandable for you. From here, we'll simply run a few commands that should hopefully fix your Windows installation without anything happening destructively. No files are usually changed by this process, and all of your programs and documents should still be in the same place when it's completed, unlike System Restore, where some files and programs may be lost. From here, type in chkdsk, space, followed by the drive's letter and another colon, in my case, C colon space forward slash F, and then hit enter. If you see a prompt like this, simply hit Y and enter once again. This program simply checks every file on the disk for damage and attempts to repair it if any is found. This of course can take some time to complete, so do be prepared to wait. If it appears to be stuck, it could be going through very large files or simply trying to repair something. Anyways, now that that program's done, maybe the issue has to do with your computer's boot files instead. We can repair these by running the following commands. B-O-O-T-R-E-C boot rec space forward slash fix M-B-R. Then boot rec space forward slash fix boot. Then boot rec 
space forward slash rebuild BCD. And this last one could of course take some time to complete. And then finally, BCD boot space C colon slash windows, of course replacing C with the correct drive letter if yours is in C, space forward slash S space followed by the drive letter once again and a colon as such. Now for good measure, we'll use the automatic tools to scan through all of Windows' files and check for issues, then attempt to repair them. Windows can simply verify its own files. We can do that by typing in sfc space forward slash scan now, one word. This could take an even longer amount of time, so once again, do be prepared to wait. Now, all you have to do is type in exit and hit enter. Then simply choose Exit and Continue to Windows 10. Now hopefully everything's working properly upon booting up into Windows and you're done with this video. So the last step for you here is to simply restore your computer using a restore point. This is usually on by default, though if you've manually disabled it, you may need to resort to more drastic things, such as booting into safe mode, backing up all your data, and then simply reinstalling Windows. Before you do anything drastic, don't worry, you haven't lost all of your files. Of course, assuming something like serious hard disk corruption hasn't taken place. If you are worried about sensitive information and data, I'd highly recommend taking your computer to a specialist or simply getting yourself an external hard drive enclosure. Then you can remove the hard drive from your current PC, place it in the enclosure, and then connect it to another device, such as a laptop, where you can pull out all of your important data and create a full backup of all of the different files. Then you can insert it back into your computer and simply reinstall Windows. There is always hope, don't give up. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching, my name's been Techno, but here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!